Thank you. Thank you all. Welcome to Acoustic Cafe. Uh, this is our fourth show, and uh, if anybody's been following the last three shows, uh, you'll find out after this one that I've run out of wardrobe. This is the last blazer I've got, so <laughs> you'll start you'll start to see them cycle around again in January. Anyways, we've got a uh, a great show for you this week on Acoustic Cafe. We've got a couple of guys that have been in the uh, the local music business for as long as there has been a scene in Syracuse. Joe Whiting and Mark Doyle. And uh, as I was talking to him at the beginning of the sh before the show, before we started taping, uh, I started to reminisce about how long they have been together. And I don't know if they think about it as often as they probably want to, but uh, they've been together since 1968. And on and off, had have put together a body of work that uh, that uh, really is something as far as a, a local group goes. It, it really compares to, to national talent, and uh, they are a couple of talented guys. But uh, before we uh, before we meet them, we want to uh, know a little bit about the history of Joe Whiting and Mark Doyle. We really want to see what uh, what they've been up to for the past 25 years. So, Greg, why don't you roll a tape that uh, we've put together of Joe Whiting and Mark Doyle. If you were to ask anyone in the early 70s who the best band in Syracuse was, most likely you'd hear the answer, Juke and Bone. In fact, even today, many would still include them among the best that has ever resided in central New York. However, Juke and Bone's legacy was not one of small town bands that tasted fame only to have it slip away. It's the story of two young musicians who met in a music store in Auburn and formed a partnership that would last beyond a quarter of a century. The word, you, you know, their guitar player, Joe's guitar player in the Ridgewoods, the band he was in at the time, had heard me playing some kind of uh, barrel house blues piano in the back room of this music store and thought, they, they were trying to get me for the longest time to play in their band as a piano player. We called ourselves Free Will and found the people that we wanted to play with, you know, the, the, the original five guys. And um, that was, it was RCA that made us change our name to Juke and Bone. We signed with RCA Records in 1971. The band was a group called Free Will, consisted of myself and Mark Doyle. They didn't never like the name Free Will. Uh, they came up with some horribly bogus uh, titles for it. Bulldog Drummond was one they really liked. Uh, finally, somehow we settled on Juke and Bone. Releases include Whiskey Woman and Way Down East in 1972. Spirit. Good Rockin' Tonight is the Doyle Whiting Band in 1985. That's the first Blue Wave release. Flesh and Blood in 1986. And as Backbone Slip, Swamp Water in 1991. And in 1993, the compilation disc Buried Bones that serves as kind of a Doyle Whiting timeline, complete with news clips and pictures. After all this time together, you might expect to see the look of the pain and heartbreak the music business stamps on many faces. But instead, Joe and Mark still shine like new talent just discovered. And they continue to shine. Only now in the glow of so many successes under their belts. And the hope for many, many more. And right now joining us in the studio is Joe Whiting and Mark Doyle. Yeah. <laughs> it's as if we know each other. It's as if they know you. <laughs> it's, as if, it's as if the half the audience doesn't know you. Anyways, uh, what I have in my hand is the uh, latest release called Buried Bones of, of Doyle Whiting, and, and from what I gather, it is 17 songs from the 25 years that you guys have been together. Tell me a little about it. 25 years. It's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real long time. Yeah, actually, uh, last year, we, uh, uh, Greg Spencer and Mark and myself went through all the old tapes that we had, kind of culled a few things that we thought worked, and went into the studio, did some new things, and uh, ergo... Hence that. Mm -hmm. Now, Buried Bones kind of gives me the impression that there is unreleased material on this. Yeah, a lot of it. A lot of it, yeah. great. And some of the songs that are on this are also going to be part of a new release coming in 94. Is yeah. that something you guys are working on? Yeah. <laughs> as just as surprised as he was when I asked yeah. him before. <laughs> yeah, it's a Backbone Slip release. Called a Backbone Slip release. Avenue Breakdown. Full band? Yeah, it's actually a rhythm section, uh, you know, the rhythm section in town. Mm -hmm. Paul Laron and Mark Tifalt. Yeah, which those guys are showing up everywhere. I heard the Christmas album that you guys did this year that they do a lot of material yeah, on. That's yeah. really good. That's a great album. Thanks. We're featuring that in the uh, the segment later on in the show. We're featuring that record. There's a lot of good material on that record for the Christmas season. This is our Christmas show, by the way, in case anybody's wondering. As you can tell by the decorations. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cheap show. We spend all our money on <laughs> hairstyles. Um, anyways, tell me about... 
it, it, it's, it's tough to fathom for, I think, a lot of people that for, after 25 years you, years, you guys are still together and you haven't killed each other or punched each other out or it's whatever. Been close. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about tell me about the the breakup of Juke and Bone. What what was it? I got the impression as I was reading some of the background material that you guys <laughs> that you guys had felt that um, in one way or another Juke and Bone was was your shot, and because because of things being what they were in '72 or whatever, that it didn't happen. But you guys are still working. You guys are still heading for national recognition, recording contract, national recording contract, and such. Tell me a little bit about your feelings about that. You, bro, or me? Um, I mean, I I really believe that we were very unprepared for success had it happened, you know. Um, I never thought it was our only shot at success. I think people may have written that, but I don't think we ever said that. A lot lot of the press seemed to to, to give that impression that, oh, you know, it didn't happen then, so it's never going to happen, which I I don't feel that. How dare they? Do you have their names in their dress? As a matter of fact, they do. <laughs> well, tell me about the future of Doyle Whiting and the future of, well, maybe I should just start. Well, let's start with you, Mark. Okay. Uh, you do um, some producing and recording on your own mm-hmm. as well as with, w- what's the future of Mark Doyle? Well, I actually just moved back here after about four or five years in Boston. And uh, I ended up here all summer playing with Free Will, our big Free Will reunion. And... Um, you know, so I, I've been doing studio work here, and I, I love producing. I mean, it's actually one of my, my favorite things to do. Uh-huh. So I want to keep doing that, find all the talented people around here. And there are a lot. Oh, I mean, yeah, there, there is. There yeah. always have been. Yeah. Joe, tell me, what's the plans for Joe Whiting, and is it is it still going to continue as the Rock and Rhythm Review? Are you still going to do that? Oh, I, yeah, I'll always play with the band, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, I'm really happy with the band that I play with. Now I also have a duo with Lauren Berger, and Mark and I are going to do... Uh, dates as they fall in fact whenever the show gets aired but correct me if i'm wrong mr isaac uh we're going to uh, open up for the band at uh, symphony hall december 10th mark oh, just correct. mark and i well this show is going to air every friday in december which reminds me of a show that's going on on december 22nd that you guys are a part of tell me a little about that uh, is it symphony hall i think it's the landmark yeah oh the, the landmark the theater landmark, yeah. this is a a show promoting the christmas record that you, you guys put together yeah, but it's also, I think, more than that, that is involved in it. But it's to, uh, there, it's free admission, but it's to bring uh, food and uh, clothing or anything for, for uh, homeless people, for any organization that needs uh, food during the holidays, that needs, uh, you know, clothes, uh, blankets, anything like that. So that's part of the thing is that anybody that comes, free admission, but just to bring something that uh, someone else can use. Well, I know this is going to be moot point on December 24th when it airs, but it's going to air a couple of weeks in December. So December 22nd at the Landmark Theater, uh, Mark Doyle and Joe Whiting, along with a host of other bands that have put together a, a Christmas record that is just out of, out of this world. Anyways, uh, we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, we're going to uh, get some music from Joe and Mark. Since you're not here with me, Christmas ain't like me. Do you know a Native American? Maybe you rode one lately. Maybe you drank one last night. Seen one on the Late Late Show? Cured for one lately? Maybe you've been to a sweat. Smoke them piece by piece. Come on, man. Times have changed. Free your mind. We're back to Acoustic Cafe. Here are just a couple of releases that these guys have put together, and uh, there is no particular order to what they're going to do today in terms of uh, uh, off of a certain record. There's a lot of work that you can uh, get of uh, Joe Whiting and Mark Doyle. But anyways, here are Joe Whiting and Mark Doyle. Never say that you can't win. 
stand up, don't end up by. You got to try to make it better. Because that road goes on forever. Oh. You can try so hard to make things right, still they'll turn out wrong. You can take the blame or give the same to anyone who comes along. Just when you start wearing down and you can't find a friend, you feel alone but turn around. There's a message you can't say. Stand up and don't give in. Never say that you can. Stand up, don't ever buy. You got to try to make it better. Cause that road goes on forever. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Continue on. We're going to do a song that, that Mark and I uh, wrote about 10 years ago, and we're going to do a song now that we wrote longer than that, rewrote. You might say it's in the process of being rewritten as we speak, so let's hope we get the same version. <laughs> anyway, it's called We've Got a Love. Heart of mine, just you and me. 
very much guys we're gonna take a little break where are we we're gonna take a little break and we'll be back to acoustic cafe so don't you go away oh, Jimmy Stewart is on TV saying it's a wonderful life boy I really did it last night got drunk acted stupid went home with with who is that what am I stupid how did I do this Barry began to worry, really worry. Well, what about AIDS? Then he remembered, hey, I'm just a cartoon. I don't even have to shower. Get high, get stupid, get AIDS. And here I am in the dark, and here they are, Mark Doyle and Joe Whiting. Some new light to be mine, yeah. Hey, I've 
I've been rambling, rambling just to get away. Oh, no, no, I've been rambling, rambling just to get away. Well, it may not be much, but I like it that way. Thank you. I'd like to point out that that was written by a good friend, George Egasarian. And that, uh, is that on anything? Or? It's on Buried, Buried Bones. Bones. I'm the last to know. But anyway, it was a good, good friend, George Egasarian, wrote that. And uh, right now we're going to do a song that Mark and I wrote, have rewritten, continue to work on. But it, it's uh, a song that we kind of like and it's kind of stuck with us. And it's called Just Around the Corner. So many ways to go, so many roads to choose. You take a big risk, it's a setback if you lose. Working hard to keep my dreams alive. Reaching out, trying all the time. Shine a light. I think I see the sign Just around the corner A change is gonna come We'll all be together See a new dawn Just around the corner A change is gonna come We'll all be together See Joe Whiting and Mark Doyle. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you're hearing in uh, local music, uh, there's a lot of places where you can get, uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, groups out putting their own material out on record. There's uh, 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 mainly discs, which is now at Gordon Electronics. There's a lot of different places which you can find out, but uh, uh, no one has his finger on the local music scene like uh, Dave Fresina from 95X's Soundcheck. And uh, Dave's going to tell us what's going on in the local music scene. So uh, take it away, Dave. 
If you're searching for an extra special Christmas gift this year, Greg Spencer's Blue Wave Records provides the solution. The lineup of performers on Here Comes Another Christmas reads like a who's who of local music. Gary Fournay, Joe Whiting, Mark Doyle, Ed Hamill, all three Notre Thomas brothers, Built for Comfort Blues Band, plus many more. And if you've ever wondered who's the most wanted keyboardsman in town, George Rossi will tell you. He plays on five of the 13 outstanding tracks of this eclectic holiday CD. Mark Doyle's multi-guitar rendition of the classic The Christmas Song is worth the price of the disc alone. But if Tony, Jamie, and John Noter Thomas don't put you to tears with Kaylee's Christmas Song, you better see a cardiologist because there's something wrong with your heart. Here Comes Another Christmas, Greetings from the Salt City, is a must-have for any local music fan. And if you get the blues around the holidays, this CD will make you glad you have them. Thank you, Dave, and you can catch Soundcheck every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Anyways, I'd like to thank all of you for coming to the cafe today. This has been a great show. Give yourselves a hand, please. I'd also like to thank Mr. Greg Spencer for giving me uh, a lot of help and support for this show. Greg is the uh, president of Blue Wave Records and does a lot with these guys. And, <laughs> and Joe Whiting and Mark Doyle are going to take us out with a song. Thanks a lot, guys. We hope you're on the cafe again. Solitary man, the Lord in one. All on my own, I make my own fun, but it never comes easy in a house that's not home. Where love is a stranger that's left me alone. Phone never rings except by mistake, and when it's for me, it's a bill that won't wait. So tonight when I heard your voice on the line I couldn't help thinking about when you were mine Oh my, my, time flies You said you'd be gone till the ocean ran dry But the river still runs and the tide is still high My, how time Since you're back in town Oh, I don't think I'd like it If you stopped around Cause I'm not the same guy You sort of there Trying to move on By not looking back Oh, my, my Time flies You said you'd be gone Till the oceans ran dry But the river still runs the tide is still high, my how time flies. Forgive and forget is so easily said. I guess I remember the hurting instead. When I needed someone, I cried alone. You can't change the past by call on the phone. Oh, my, my, time flies. You said you'd be gone till the oceans ran dry. But the river still runs and the tide is still high. My still runs and the tide is still high my how time flies oh my how time flies you know that time just seems to slip away oh my how time flies my how
Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Two.